Bro, what? Dude, DS is going for 280. 280, and they're paying 140? That's literally half a market, and I know that they're selling it for above 280. They're at least getting 350 to four for these. That is a crazy low ball, and if that dude accepts it, that's like under 100 under retail. I would have never accepted that. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Ryan, aka Relentless, and we got a reaction video today for you guys. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Rami the Icon's videos when he does some cash outs for some people at Cool Kicks. So let's jump right in. How you doing today? All right, so we got some off-whites. got some heat. Dunks, I'm assuming. Oh, Air Forces. Okay. Brooklyn's. Mm. That's not a bad price. Huh. You can do 12. I'll do the 12. That's cool. It's going to be a check though. Just let you know. Okay. So $1,200 for those is actually a pretty good offer. Let me look at what they're at on StockX. Uh, okay. Yeah. So StockX last sale was $1,179. So $1,200, I'm surprised. Honestly, a pretty good offer. They do sell for around $1,400. But I mean, to get that high from Cool Kicks, that's a pretty good price. And I would have taken that myself as well. So definitely, definitely agree with that pricing. All right, so ciders, man, those are sitting at Nike forever. So I'm surprised they're even buying it, to be honest. Because, man, them bricks. Oh, I see lost and founds. Mm. Hold on. Did my man just say 350? That's what they're paying for those? I know for a fact. Like those are selling like locally if you're not even a store for like 450 to 500. So I know that as a store, they could easily, especially in California, get like 600 for those. So for them to pay 350 tops, that's a little low for me. That's just my opinion though. 300? Take those in 50 if you want. Take 150 if you want. Nah, no, no, no. It's this. Oh yeah, one fall. Yeah, so 150 in these. Yeah, let me get a slice. Dang. Okay, hold on. So the dude just traded Lost and Found's men's size, right? Which goes for about 450 and a pair of ciders. And ciders, again, bricks, they go for like 120 to 150. So let's say 600 in value, right? So then he traded that for a GS Lost and Found, which goes for about 220 and 150 cash. So that's like 370 value. So he lost $230 of value on that trade. As a reseller, I'm like, I mean, that would benefit me immensely. But as a person who's trading like that, man, that's a pretty big L in my opinion. All brand new, all used? No, uh, brand new, brand new, and then two. See some one, uh, Mystic, Navy, Lowe's, Trash. Yeah, Slates are trash in my opinion. Hard to sell, Yeezys are hard to sell these days. Kentucky's fly, any dunk flies. So those are a good shoe. And uh, yeah, there's J Balvin too. Huh? Okay, so I can tell you off the bat, those J Balvins, J Balvins are bricks. He's not gonna offer him a ton for those. The only shoe that I think in that that they would move quickly would probably the Slate. They probably, I think Cool Kids can move Yeezys a lot better than I can. Yeezys just locally here don't do very well for me. Uh, the Kentucky Dugs, those fly like crazy. And the Mystic Navy ones, I, I don't know what it is about Jordan 1 Lowe's. Jordan 1 Lowe's just do not move. I'm excited to see what he's gonna offer. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have it in my mind that he's gonna be pretty low on Balvins, pretty low on the Mystic Navies. And he'll be like decent for the Kentuckys and Slates. Yeah, I don't know how to do that either. Yeah, I'd be at 200, 180, 140, and like 80. All right, I don't know. So I'm surprised he offered 200 on the J Balvin's. One tip, when you go to a place to sell shoes as a reseller, you never want to say, I know these aren't selling. You never want to downplay yourself because as soon as you start downplaying yourself, we know that we can take advantage of you. Um, and I try not to take advantage of people because you know I believe in God, I try to be a, a good man. But when you go to a place like this and they, you, hear, you hear the words like, or any place with a reseller, you hear the words, I know that these aren't doing well or you know, oh, like I'll take a low for them. That's immediately, we know we, that we can hassle you and, and get a lick off of you. Um, and so off the bat, I knew he was gonna get some low offers. I'm surprised on that J ball, but I wouldn't have offered that high for those. Those are just some hefty bricks that I know will not move personally for me. So you're at 600, and then minus the size five, so you get 300. Okay. And the size five. Whoa. 
Hold on, I didn't even catch the first time. Dude, they're only paying 140 for the slates. There's no chance that those are that low. If they're paying 140 for those, they'd have to be sitting under 200 in market. I'm, I'm curious what they're at. Bro, what? Dude, DS is going for 280. 280, and they're paying 140. That's literally half a market, and I know that they're selling it for above 280. They're at least getting 350 to four for these. That is a crazy low ball. And if that dude accepts it, that's like under 100 under retail. I would have never accepted that. I would have never even offered that. I would feel bad offering that. That's just so low. So I owe you 300, I owe you 150. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, of course, man. That's 300. Ugh. Robbery. All right, so lost and founds again. GS and men's. Great school. How much you want? I already know he's gonna hit him over the head for this for the side swap. Pay forty. How much? Forty dollars for the swap. Forty in the swap. So I'll give you one sixty in a swap. You look around if you want. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. If anything, I'll probably do two hundred credit. I'll do two hundred twenty credit. Okay, I get the idea of having to pay. I think if you're a reseller that doesn't have a store and you want to do a trade, like, yeah, it's okay to, to ask for a little bit more, especially if it's the same shoe, because you never know, like, if you're going to be able to move that size well. But when you're a store and you have probably, I'm, I'm assuming they probably have like two to 300 pairs of lost and founds just chilling back there. To charge 40 bucks, just size swap, unless it's like a size that's like drastic in price difference. To me, I'm like, man, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like you could you can get away with doing like 20 bucks. It's not, it's not like you're having to go out of your way to trade and, and it's going to make it any more difficult you're still going to move the shoe at the exact same price 40 bucks is a little steep for me that's just my opinion and then offering 200 on the gs pairs again i know that they're slinging those for at least 300 325 people i guess will take money you know how they can get it no i didn't i didn't these are crazy though look at these shauna some shit shauna would wear now, let me draw into ugly i don't I don't like messing with Mischief at all. Any of Mischief. Really. Ever since they did that Satan shoe, I'm like, bro, I don't mess with Mischief. It's just, there's just some stuff you, you don't do as a company. They did it. People can buy it. I never thought they released anything cool anyways. Um, they've never had like a, a hot release in my opinion. Yeah, those gops are ugly as mess. I don't think he's going to offer a lot for them. He might not even take them. All right, now get out of here, bro. I don't like that. <laughs> bro, are they all used? Uh, these two are used. These are uh, dead stock. I just wasted them. Okay, so we got some J-Pack. Mm, How much you want for the two dunks? Uh, anything, I'm I knew he was gonna pass on those. Okay, so Polaroids. I wouldn't do quite that high, bro. For both, I'd be at 260 cash, three credits. Mm. I'll do 280. So it's pretty much like 160 and 120. Or if you want 320 credit. Bro, the thing is, I just hit some fucking lost and found. Oh, for real? Pick up. For real? What did you say? What did you just say? You guys said what? We said 180? 180 and 120. They're DS. That's not a bad price. It's 20 left. That's not a bad price, honestly. I think those classic greens are going for like 240, and the Polaroids are going for like 180. So he's already, I mean, for him to just try to get 120 for the Polaroids and then 180, like, that's a fair price. And then on top of that, trying to get haggled even more. I would have paid that, and I'm not even a store. Like I don't, I don't tax. I sell at market, and I would, I would have paid that. That's just, again, no disrespect. Business is business. People handle it different ways, and at the end of the day, like these people, they make the choice to sell their shoes. At, they don't have to sell their shoes at that price. And if it wasn't for people selling shoes at a good price, I wouldn't make a living, and a lot of other people wouldn't make a living. I'm grateful for that. I just feel bad sometimes, uh, specifically when people get railed for prices even when they like give good numbers because you could have gotten a lot better like you could probably sell a stock x and get more money but you'd have to wait uh eh, i get it i got you at two need the cash give me a second yeah. let me see with these you agree to 280 we're gonna spice it up though since these do are low-key hit it let's do a coin flip if you're right 300 okay okay that so I messed with I messed with that. So good good job, Rami. He noticed that the market was high on those greens, and I knew they were higher. And the fact that like I mean the dude accepted 280 already, so he could have easily just been like, all right, I'm gonna take it for 280. But the fact that he uh, was willing to do that, like that's cool, because he knew that he, he's gonna be able to make a good chunk of change. That's what'll bring more customers back. At the end of the day, when you're reselling, the reason why I have so many return customers is because I take care of my customers. I take care of the people that sell to me, that buy from me. I always pay you know, decently well, obviously like I don't pay market because I have to sell the shoes and make money, but I try to be fair. And when you're fair with people and you treat people with love and respect, they're always going to come back. So that move by Rami, that would instill something in somebody to be like, you know what, now I'm going to mess with him in the future and bring him back 
some more shoes. I've had people that, that have been messing with me for years that bring me like some fat deals. They could make way more money if they sold it individually like on Facebook groups or whatever, but they just wanna bless me. They'll take a little bit of profit and let me eat most of the profit just cause we have that type of relationship and they know that I buy them out all the time. So I, I give mad respect to Rami for that. I wanna see how this goes. What is it? It's Taylor. Yes, sir. Good on him. Congrats to him. So he only did like four cash outs in this video, uh, which was a little short from what I expected. I thought there was gonna be a lot more. But what I can tell you from, Rami's a cool dude. He's got a lot of knowledge when it comes to shoes. And I respect like, you know, his hustle. Obviously he's been able to amass a great channel, cashing people out. And this is super entertaining to watch. Like I enjoy watching his videos uh, because he's a good negotiator, which kind of helps me, you know, continue to grow in my craft. And he's also just uh, smart when it comes to like legit checking shoes. Like that man can look at a shoe and tell you like right off the bat if it's uh, legit or not. He doesn't really have to use a black light. I still got to use a black light. You know, I, I got to go the extra precautions to be 100% safe. But at the end of the day, like, you know, they're, they're paying, I think they could pay better. Um, don't we all? Uh, like if I would never personally sell shoes there, because obviously I'm trying to make as much money as possible. But if you're like trying to get quick cash, um, and you know, you need to make money. Like why not stop at Cool Cakes or stop at a store that you know could at least cash you out right then and there. You don't have to wait to try to sell them. You don't have to ship them. You don't have to do any of the headache. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll be doing a lot more of these reaction videos coming up on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a big thumbs up. Make sure you just subscribe and uh, to turn on those post notifications so that you can stay up to date with all the videos I'll be posting every single week. As always, God bless and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.